as we think about the holiday season that we're in right now, it's more than just Mariah Carey on the radio station and Christmas lights at every corner, but rather this can actually be a really hard season for most. Whenever we begin to ask the honest questions, we begin to unpack the layers of darkness that our friends and family are often walking through. Maybe this is a first Christmas without a family member this year. Maybe this time of year, your parents are walking through a divorce and this is impacting you in a new way. Or maybe it's just a reminder that you are feeling lonely. Whatever it may be, whenever we focus on those things, it can feel really heavy surrounding us in the holiday season whenever our hope is lost. But I wanna encourage you today, youth fam, that God's promises always ring true. And a reminder that you can speak over yourself in this season is that God is not passing in your life, but rather he was very present in every moment. And this is so clear in scripture. And, and one story that I want to share with you today is in Psalm 46. And while we don't know exactly who their author is of this song, what we begin to uncover and see is that these people are in great destruction and great turmoil, but their hope is not lost. Verse one reads, God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble, therefore we will not fear, though the earth gives way. Though the mountains be moved into the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble and swelling, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of her, she shall not be moved. God will help her when morning dawns. The nations rise, the kingdoms totter. He utters his voice, the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. Come behold the works of the Lord, how he has brought desolations on the earth. He makes war seas to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the chariots with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our fortress. From the very beginning in verse one, we see that God is our safe place. He is our strength. He is our provider. He is our protector. It reads, God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. This again, he's not passive in the things that we are walking through, but rather he is present through every moment, through every situation. And this is also listed in, in Psalms before in Psalm 23, that even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, evil for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You see, God never leaves us. Even when we feel so alone, again, in the holiday seasons, we are reminded that God is with us. And not only that, but he's activated us. He's arming us. Something else that really stood out to me in these scriptures is the Lord of hosts is with us. And what this means is God is chief commander. He is running the army, not only here on heaven, but in all of and all of the earth. He is the, the Lord of all of the heavenly armies. And this shows me that he is in the battle with us. He has authority over everything here on earth and in heaven. And he has authority to fight for us and with us. The Lord is fighting for you. He's fighting for whatever circumstance that you are walking through, whatever situation, whatever destruction is surrounding you. It says right here that the, the mountains are moving. There's like an earthquake surrounding these people, but their hope is rooted in Christ and they are encouraged that he he is fighting for them. And I'm just so grateful that God is faithful. He's faithful. And I, we skip down in a couple verses. In verse 10, it says, Be still and know that I am God. I will be exalted among the nations. I will be exalted in all the earth. And something that it also sticks out in this is, he's not asking us to be still in our waiting. In the same way that he's not passive with us, we shouldn't be passive with him, but rather, this is a faithful waiting. This is more of a trust that God will be God in whatever circumstance that you're in. He's going to be bigger than whatever you are walking through. So instead of being passive and, and wearing the weight of whatever you're going through, trust and know. Be still and faithful and hopeful and knowing that God will be God and he has full control of every circumstance that you're walking through. And again, he is with you through it all. And so I wanna challenge you today as we navigate the holiday season, whatever you are walking in, I first want you to one, be still. Make space for God to be God in your life. Maybe that's deleting social media for the day. Maybe that's setting aside time in your room to be in solitude, completely focusing on not the circumstance, but on the goodness of God and his authority over your circumstance. So one, be still and know that he is God. And two, reflect on the goodness of God. Reflect on the ways that he showed up time and time again previously and the ways that he's gonna continue to do so. Make a list 
list of all the circumstances that you're walking through. Make a list of maybe the lies that the enemy's feeding you and instead insert truth and promises that are listed right here in his word. Maybe that's reading Psalm 46 or Psalm 23 and reciting those verses over and over again until you know deep in your heart that God is faithful and he is consistently with you. Youth fam, we want you to know that not only is God fighting for you, but also you have a family that is here with you, ready to walk alongside and do life with you. We love you and we just wanna pray for you today as you continue in your holiday season. Lord, we thank you for being the Lord of Lords, for, for having full authority of every circumstance and situation that we walk in. Thank you that your promises are consistently true, that you are always with us, that you never leave us nor forsake us. God, we glorify you because you are worthy to be praised, and we thank you for your presence, intentional presence in every area of our life. Lord, we love you, we thank you, and it's in your name we pray, amen. We love you, you fam. We are with you and we believe in you.